This is a real gas example problem. The problem asks us to estimate the molar volume of carbon dioxide at 500 Kelvin and 100 atmospheres by treating it as a van der Waals gas. We're given the A constant and the B constant, van der Waals A and B constants, and the van der Waals equation. So the first thing we need to know is that for ideal gases, it has an equation of state of PV is equal to nRT. And the problem with ideal gases is that um, it assumes that none of the molecules are attracted to or repelled by any of the other molecules, and so that actually affects the pressure. The second assumption is that the volumes of the molecules or atoms, ha they don't have any, and that, that becomes a problem when it gets really crowded when the, the number of moles in a sample increases by a lot. So we need to change that, and so for the van der Waals equation, what it does is it adjusts P by including an A constant times the number of moles squared divided by the volume squared. So that adjusts for intermolecular interactions. And we're going to adjust the volume a little bit by subtracting off the number of moles times the van der Waals B constant. And that's equal to N times R, our gas constant, times T, the temperature. Now the problem is, in order to solve for the molar volume, how much volume is occupied by the number of, by one mole, we have to do some algebra to this equation to figure out what in the world is going on. So the first thing I'm going to do is a little sleight of hand. I'm going to divide both sides by n, the number of moles. And that's going to simplify the right side. And these two terms are being multiplied by each other. So I only need to divide n into one side. And so I'm going to include it here. And so I can rewrite this equation as p plus A, and now notice this is 1 over the molar volume squared, and this is the molar volume minus B, and that's equal to RT, and now I can subtract RT from both sides. And I'm going to get 0 on the right-hand side. And I'm going to be left with P plus A divided by V over N squared. And I have to multiply that by V over N minus B. And I'm going to subtract RT. And that whole expression is equal to 0. And the reason I want to do that is so that I can actually solve this equation for n divided by v in Excel by guessing and checking. And the first thing I'm going to do is guess v divided by n using the ideal gas equation and use that as my starting point for a guess and check to figure out where what value of v over n in this expression will equal 0. So check the carbon dioxide. Excel file uh, for the solution to this.